Hey, Lizers, and welcome back to our second episode of our TSL, baby. Um, I decided we're gonna, we're gonna try to go aggro. <laughs> it just, uh, might be just the worst decision ever, but uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and open our government here. We're definitely gonna grab God King because we need to. Urban planning for overall production boost, and then we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, we're gonna go with foreign trade because we're not discovering second continent anytime soon, I don't think. Let's get on right there. You get on the mole hill. I need to get over here if possible. Got a lot of nice luxes. I'm jealous. I'm so jelly right now. Brazil. I'm jelly. So jelly. Now, this guy better stop chasing me. I might, if I do let him around, I might just leave him. Okay, he's coming. He's coming for that city, baby. He's coming for that soft, soft underbelly. I'm just gonna chase you. I'm gonna let you chase me to Brazil. Let you do that, okay, pumpkin? You wait. Settler's almost done. Good. I'll probably kick out another warrior here, especially with the spear. I should be pretty good. And then maybe another one of these guys. Slinger. And now I went away. Okay, good. Uh huh. I ignore. I'm gonna ignore your ass. I'm gonna surprise war the shit out of you. It's all jungle still, right? Yeah, it's all jungle. I can't get much out of this. I'm gonna get booted out of his territory. Should it turn into war. But let's go ahead and go ham. I suggest. Look at the already loyalty pressure problems. Minus five there. Because of Kuchiba. Yeah, it's because of Kuchiba. Our first governor's been coming for a while, is he? Early Empire. Wow, okay. It's gonna be a long time. Maybe the historic heirs are gonna be really tough without the, uh... Let's see. I mean, if we, if we don't make progress here, then the settlers screwed anyway. I'm gonna kind of equivocate here a bit. I need to see where I'm moving. Because getting here in three turns versus two... Start moving this way. We'll kind of get here one turn later, if need be. The influence is really annoying already. Minus two. Jeez. It's like the outer limit of what we can do. Especially because all his fresh water. I mean, I can settle here, potentially. Without having loyalty issues, or instead, hold on. Let me just, yeah, let me kick out another. How much turns to the next settler? 16. Alright, I think we're gonna need to go ahead and do some war first. Okay, let's go ahead and down him. Prize war, bitch. No. I don't think so. Okay, I do think so. Damn. Free, stealing a free settler might be worth its weight in gold, though. That might actually be the coup I'm looking for here. Thank you. Stealing a settler might be worth it. Bro. That might be what I actually needed to do the war for. I don't need to take a city. I just need to take some of his shit. Yup. That's what I'm doing, then, I think. We go out here. I'm gonna escape this way and settle that city. Or maybe even one further away. Maybe where's the settling loyalty here? So I want that fresh water. This is gonna be too competitively close to the fresh water. I can always aqueduct from here. Or I can coastal. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think that loyalty would extend that far. If I can drop two cities for his one, it's pretty good. You can always drop... A minus three would be really bad. Or I might settle this guy first. Actually, if I settle the city, that might be enough. Let me do it that way. See how bad this pain is going to be. 
Okay, we're gonna go and leave because we don't want to necessarily fight that guy. And look, all the warriors. All the king's horses and all the king's men. So we definitely weren't gonna be taking cities. That's for damn sure. So we're gonna lock you up. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna lock you up. We're gonna bring you home. Because why not? Get some more production on. You are gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Next war will come out soon. Yeah, I'm gonna get this settlement done. See what that settler looks like after that, and then we'll determine how we're gonna play it. How are we gonna play it, Playo? How? Oh, he's got moves. Okay, he can move, actually. You're gonna have to deal with that spearman at some point, too, Bucko. This is a little concerning. I'm just a little bit low in pain here. But, remember, I do have that ability to reduce loyalty, so we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the city quickly. You keep moving out. This dude is really starting to cramp my style. So where would this loyalty issue be negated? If potentially if I go here and then aqueduct later. Won't be as good a city. By any stretch. But let's keep our options open. Let's try to go this way if we can. We do have the, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can fight over this space a bit. That's going to be interesting. So I'm going to need probably a war to defend over here. This might have been a minor overreach, but if we can peace out in 10 turns, just hold the line, so to speak, we should be okay. I need to back off here. I'm going to take it in the face. Which the last time I checked isn't a good thing. All right, here you un exit the escort. Run home. Come over here. I need you to settle. And then I'm going to see where I settle this guy as a result of that. So ideally, I'm over here. And that's minus seven. Oh, my. I think population growth is because of population growth. Damn, man. Loyalty is hard, bruh. Let's make this quite challenging. Wish I had archers. Um, but if I kill a unit with a slinger, it makes it a lot simpler. I should have been researching archery. That might have been smart, actually. But without this, I have nothing to improve besides farms. So, eh. I'm going to go in the marsh because you can't attach me. Attach me? You can't attack me there yet. I'm try to block this space. Defend because I'm much stronger than he is, I think. Well, not really. Yeah. <laughs> Forget I said anything about that. Because he's going to do this. And if they're in a single file line, I'll be okay with that. I just want to make sure we avoid loyalty issues. Stealing a settler is a big, big coup for us, actually. That was worth the war already. I don't need to take Quachiba for that. All right, so go. Nagmop, who's there. Um, fresh water. Nice. Let's go ahead and start grabbing... I mean, Monument would make the most sense, but right now I have a feeling a Slinger slash Warrior might be best. It's better. Let's grab a Slinger first, some ranged. I feel like that's not a lot of damage. So now let's look at the loyalty issues. Roughly the same, actually. Oddly enough, I might choose to settle on the rice here. It's not great. But this minus three... Because we're not going to have any governors anytime soon. Any policies related to loyalty early. I'm coming for a while. Because a monument's worth a little bit of loyalty. But it's like a one or something. Let's see. How many turns from Monument Loyalty? What did I get for that? Okay. I guess I'll figure it out in a second. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, we do be. Never been this important. Plus one. Okay, plus one. So we potentially mitigate one loyalty issue. So if we could mitigate one, where would that be? That'd be here. Off of the fresh water. Yeah, look how nasty this loyalty pressure is. I might just settle here then. I have to back off a bit. This is going to be awfully cramped for cities, though. 
And it's funny how, like, with historic eras, you have so little uh, opportunity to make some choices <laughs> with settlement locations because loyalty is already an issue. That's fascinating. Maybe I do need a bigger map then. The fact that this is such an issue so early. Do you have this? You're the Fion guy, and you're taking much damage. Ooh, goddamn, yeah, you are that guy. Yeah, I might need to get this warrior up here. But you come back this way. Yep. So I need to get the city down. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues with healing, actually. Yeah, I might go here. Minus three. Should I do minus one here? Except the fact I'm not going to have fresh water until aqueducts. But this can take so long. Aqueducts already take a long time. Um, balls. This is a really difficult decision on where to drop this guy. I might have to do it on the rice. That's okay, I guess, because I have decent food from the jungle and decent production. Fuck, we're going on the rice. We're doing it. We're going on the rice. I'm going to stab you in the face a little bit. Keep moving you this way. So we're ready to go. Okay, so the choice has been made. The die is cast. Awe, Cesar. Te salutat and all that. Um, we cross that Rubicon. We declare war on the Brazilians. Nubrasiu. Now, we're going to need to back off away from this guy a little bit so we can punch him in the face first. But this is okay. Actually, fine. He's not taking that much damage. Um, so we kind of hold him back. And this is the goal, just to hold him back a bit. And his blow to pressure changed at all? No, it has not. And I don't feel like that will anytime soon, unless we grow more. But I'm going to take the safe bet. Like, this is a really... You might disagree with this decision, but I believe it's the right one. I normally would never settle on rice. But given the situation here... Nine turns to a slinger. Oh, dude, you got production. You got production up the butt. It's amazing. Stuff it, baby. Okay, so how's the loyalty situation? Rising 1.3. So our loyalty situation is... Mm, this city, loyalty situation, 5.9. Okay, so this is obviously going to be the front line. So here, I might actually decide to do a monument for loyalty reasons. And everyone else will be supplying military. But this is a really nice city. Here, we cleared the rice for an extra boost to population growth. A little more uh, production after the fact. So that actually kind of works out. Now you are going to go here. You probably need to heal, actually, Bucko. Here, I'm going to try to bait this guy in to go into the marsh. If he wants to chase me, go ahead. You heal. You. I'm going to get rid of that because it's embarrassing to admit that I had to fail at that. Yeah, shoot that guy once. We'll bait you up. I'm a little worried about this, but we should have units there soon. Now you, sir. More production. That mine would be great. Mining in three. So we move one, two. So we should probably just use a build here for the farm with the irrigation boost. We'll go here for the mining boost. No... Barbarians, okay. So many turns so we can sue for peace. Five. Okay, that's cool. Should be able to hold them off till then. Not too much issue. Just gotta make sure our loyalty stays strong. We gotta get our governors up. And we do need to start building monuments like ASAP. He took the bait. Excellent. This is good. This is good news. Barbarian, don't kill me, please. Good scout. Don't be such a dick. Amazing! Now, can we kill this guy? If we can... No, we cannot. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, we'll take the promotion. Overall volley. Ah, we can get the kill here for the archery boost. Yes, please. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, after this we do archery. No question. Because it's not going to get any faster. Next set of tech is boosted, actually, too. After this, we'll probably do writing. Then irrigation. Okay. Then sailing. Then astrology. <laughs> no, we're going too crazy here. Let's just do it one at a time. Let's do two at a time. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Not that funny. Shut up. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab the Spear of Fion promotions while we still can. What's the fastest way? It's just three turns. That's three turns. One, two, three. And we can still move to this. Tile. Yeah, it's basically half a dozen of one, so just go that way. There should be no military to hold this off. Um, we should get another settler down here, maybe? We should go monument first. Let's get some freaking culture up in here, right? 
That's pretty bad right now. I know I could have gotten the um, other boost to monument production, but I think the extra boost to production of units was important. I sincerely believe so. Oh, he really wants me dead. I'm surprised. 50 damage. Bro, you don't even... Do you even lift? Good lord. Okay. Unmet. That's an issue. He's about to get invaded in Pikunmapu. So we're going to need to peace out because of that damn barbarian invasion relatively soon. Get up there, mining in one. Perfect timing. Okay, you uh, pull back. You come up here. Uh, defend. You heal up if you can. You kill that guy, and then you're going to be healing. Perfect. So you're going to go back and peek on Mapu and heal up. Uh, once you get the promotion, you're going north. You're going to hold this line. How many more turns? So we can peace out. Three. And we'll peace out immediately, because um, we need a stronger... We need archers, basically, to deal with this guy. And once we have archers, we can actually play tactically in a better way than we currently are. Why did you hit me so hard? You don't have... Do you have support bonuses already? You don't. You can't. What's wrong with you? Look at me when I'm talking to you. You're about to get invaded. When you find yourself in a hole, quit, quit. digging. Okay. Uh, you, sir, you need to go here and heal. Unless you die. Do you want to die? Why are we losing so much? Oh, no, this is us. I see. Why do we take that much damage in the return? Or whatever. Just heal up, take a defensive position. What? Losing loyalty. No, we're stable. But we need to grow pop. That's why we're building this damn uh, monument. And another camp. Oh, joy of joys. Wonder of wonders. We have some problems, folks. Not gonna lie. Perhaps I need to... No, I need this monument first, and I'll build some more military down here deals with barbarians. Alright. Uh, that's a problem. So two barbarian sets. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. Especially in the middle of this war. Like I said, this was a risky strategy, but I don't think it was an overreach per se. Not de jure. Um, okay. This will heal. Probably be able to kill this guy with him. If we're fortunate. We should be able to, I think. Heal up. Okay, you're almost there. That guy just pissed off, which is great. He went this way, though, I think. If I were here, where would I have gone if I were him? Either here or there. Either way, I don't have time to figure this out right now. I just need to go this way. I need to go north and defend that. I'll get more military units down there once I finish that. Uh, I should be able to kill this guy, no problem. Dope. Okay, perfect. Heal up. I'm a little worried about Nagmapu. How many turns? One. Okay, good. So we're, we're beating down his military a bit. We've taken one of his settlers and one of his workers. That definitely slows him down. The loyalty situation here is concerning, but the monument's there. We're building culture so we can get the stuff down there. Okay, now the dead city state. Sad times. Can't do much. The main concern here is not necessarily that I'm worried about losing that war per se, but I'm worried about um, just the barbarian invasion plus the war, effectively. You're promotable, which is great. Volley is good. Heal up, because we know the barbarians are coming. Now, uh, I need so archery is coming, and that's going to be a huge improvement on the military capabilities. You go to the front because the barbarians are coming. Can we peace out with you yet? He's not willing to make peace. Okay, he doesn't want to peace out. That's fine. You want to fight? Happy to fight. Alright, uh, that's good. Production makes sense. You need to stay production focused too, Bucko. I mean, I could kick out more pop, but I need I need the slinger up sooner. That's why I'm emphasizing that here. Just BT dubs, why we did it differently in our capital. We're not losing loyalty anymore. We're doing plus two. Nice. We have extra citizenry. Excellent. Alright. I mean, one could argue I could have done it here and waited for the citizen and the monument to do it, but... Yeah. My only concern this could be uh, horse barbs, and that would get really messy really fast. I need archery sooner. 21 turns. I'm going to hold this off a bit. 
Okay, um, let's get over here. Sooner rather than later. Yep, got the Spear of Fion bonus, so that's fine. You can't reach me yet, which is the goal, so stay here for now. And we'll have another Slinger out there, then we'll start kicking out more military there. Checking for Barbarians occasionally. So definitely want this guy to get the Spear bonus as well. It's here and back. There and back again. Hey, this is a setting start of the TSL, is it not? Hi. Oh, you were fighting Barbarians, weren't you? Haha. <laughs> Ah, bitches. Bitches don't know about my barbarian fighting my abilities. Mm -mm -mm. God, I really wish I had archers right now. This would just be so easy. <clears throat> we can do some work on that guy. The problem is he's going to knock me down to like 50% health again. What I could do if I'm smarter. Hold on. No, don't do this. That would be level on damage. That would be more on damage there. Gonna kind of get flanked here, but he needs to push through me. Is the way I'm thinking about this right now. What you're gonna do is force him to come in this way. Let's see, if he pushes and attacks, and this guy can't move and attack, if he moves down here and tries to attack me, I'm in better shape to crush. I'm going to fortify here. Keep fortifying here. I'm stronger this way. I think. Oh, hi. That is worrisome. Shit. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, Slinger. You need to do your work. <coughs> Yeah, he's not going to do much damage, though. I should have enough time to defend this. If I am lucky. We should be fine, though. This is a kill. That's a certain kill. How much damage do we do with you? Not quite a kill. I'm going to take a bit of a pounding there. But ideally, we stay alive. Now, we should be able to fight that off, no problem. Let's keep healing here. Keep strong. Um, let's do that, and we'll use you to either sling down here. It's a little worrisome, this guy. But we should be alright. With the barbarian, especially, too. What's up? Peace out. Okay, I guess he's really pissed. Alright. That's fair, I guess. You're allowed to be angry at me, I suppose. Let's keep you here for now. I need to maybe drop this guy at some point, depending on who he attacks. This is a little worrisome. More than a little worrisome. The city's gonna keep healing him. He's gonna keep the name. He's gonna take a promotion eventually. But we can... If he's just wanting one warrior at this point... Okay, so he just backed off. This is fine. So we're going to go ahead and try to swing you south and deal with this guy the way to which is appropriate. Please don't have another warrior there. Thank you. Okay. Now the problem is he's just going to take a promotion off of this. I'm going to go here and heal and worry about the barbarians. You're backing off your piece. Okay. It's a surprise he's backing off, but okay. If you don't want peace. Alright, now. It has become readily apparent to me that I require more military. Uh, so, there you go. I'm going so slow, is many issues? Okay, I'm going to actually go ahead and make an affirmative decision to do this. So he's turn off of the warrior, but this is going to get us more pops sooner. Or I can get the warrior out and then switch. Probably going to do that. Yeah, I need that warrior out sooner. The problem with these guys, I mean, they have the Fion promotions, which are good, but... Okay, saw that coming. But little does he know I have my own little volley man coming in here. Now, this guy's actually probably slowing down the barbarian advance, which is beautiful. Thank you, sirs. Okay, good. So you're about to get shot in the face. Mm-hmm. It's 
So that warrior's dead. You're getting beat up by barbarians, which is exactly what I was expecting. So you're actually taking the brunt of the barbarian invasion right now, which is hilarious. But fair, I suppose. I don't want to give him a punch at me, though. It's a barbarian slinger here. Okay, cool. Move you out here and just kill you. <laughs> that barbarian invasion actually worked out to my advantage. Okay, let me get one warrior here and I'll feel better. I feel like the monument would be smarter, but the warrior probably the most important thing. I need melee everywhere. Especially out on the frontiers here. And we can always use them for clearing camps later. Because we can put the monument policy in place after God King goes away. Uh, if we don't need it anymore. How many more turns do we need for a Pantheon, actually? Um, historic Eras. 25. Okay, so only 8 more turns. Once we switch that, then we can use the monument here. Right now, I need the production uh, to go to Warriors. Right now, I need to defend my territory. So we got a free city out of this. So we just got to make sure we're strong enough to... Stop any kind of territorial ambitions from our little Brazilian neighbor. Okay, go ahead. Next turn probably makes sense here. Ooh, really? That was four last turn? We got three out of that. Or is that next turn already? Eh, probably. I probably forgot what turn it was, man. Kind of concerning that the city defenses haven't gone up. We're still at ten. It's like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Look, barbs. I'm not going to fight that. I'm going to heal this up, though. You keep healing, Bunko. Perfect. Let's see. Keep an eye on the territory here. While you dick back in here. Dick, I mean duck. I mean, eh, words. Okay. Oh, if that scout stays here, I can keep shooting him, which is good. Okay, I mean, this is going pretty well. Are you going to peace out? I need to pay you. Ah ha ha. No. But we're making progress, apparently. Killing his military one unit at a time. The question, you got the you have the spear already, right? You're the first guy who got the spear, yeah. This guy hasn't got the spear yet. I'm going to go back here. I'm trying to get the spear promotion while I still can. It'll be stronger in the long run. Who doesn't have it? I think you don't have it yet. City State's getting murdered that quickly here? Good lord. Is it Monty? I blame Monty. It's probably Monty. Inevitably. So he's backing off a bit. You shouldn't be able to escape me now. You heal up. You heal up. You heal up. You get to the spear if you can. I'm going to keep checking the peace terms here. I know it's probably annoying for you to watch, but you got another city, okay? Never mind. I'm not peacing out with you like that, bucko. That's not, that's not how we play here. Once I have archery, then he's probably going to peace out for good terms. Or once I have archery, I can go after Rio. I mean, it might be that kind of war. Let's go... Production, still? Yes, good. So I'm just trying to make sure we're all allocated properly. You're on both production tiles. You are about to grow, so it's kind of important for me to make keep track of this. You keep the loyalty up. How's our loyalty situation? Plus 3.6. So we're doing fine. We got doing fine. And getting a city up here might be good, too. Down here would be solid as well, so we can watch for barbarians. But the spear is helping us out a lot, that thing. And in this uh, early, early ancient era warfare. <laughs> I love it. Yes, fight them. Fight them for me. I want to kind of move up here and stop him from running away. But he might be able to run away anyway. And then, in case we'll just pull back. We're healed up as it is. Amenities are low, which makes loyalty less good. But we're okay. We need to get an amenity up. For that, I may need to build a builder. Let's get you... Get you to the spear. Let's get you to the spear while we can. Looks like you need to get to the spear. Hi, barbarian. What's up? I want to go to the spear. The barbarian can't get to Nagmapu. Hey, buddy. Talk to me. What you got? You're not a very reasonable Brazilian. I'm friends with very many reasonable Brazilians. You guys... That dude, not so much. I think I just asked this turn already, so probably shouldn't be asking for too much here. Now, um, we need our luxes. How much does terrain cost? No, in Gulumapu. I want this, ideally. What is this? Hills, production tile. Ooh, it might be good. But I desperately need the salt. I need a builder what to improve that salt with. 
question is also how expensive my archer promotions are, because that's going to keep me out of diapers for a while. All right, I'm going to consider how to move forward, but so far that was pretty lucky. We managed to declare war, even though we probably wouldn't have succeeded in taking Kuachiba. Um, we did manage to steal a settler and a builder, which to help us out. We're still at war now, so we're getting some experience. Barbarians are incoming north and south. Um, but the Brazilians are taking some of the brunt, so he obviously settled behind here, which is fine. So this is going to be our front line. Uh, this might be a bit of a challenge, Kuchi, but if I sweep up from the north, though, there's some open terrain I can fire from. It's going to be an interesting kind of war. Hills, is this? No, if this isn't hills, we're good. Yeah, I can fire over the thing here. So soon as we have archers, this is going to become much more feasible. So I might just push for that, just keep the war going, take Kuchiba. If I can, push on to Hiyu and then call it a day. If he doesn't have walls, then... You know, it bobs your uncle, basically. All right, but until that time, I will think about it. I have a nurse. I'll see you all next time on this here journey on our TSL as Lautauro in Civ 6. Till next time. Till then, baby.